Right, so the aim of this practical then is to record the acceleration of an object um, experiencing a force and seeing how that force affects the acceleration. Remember, acceleration is the rate at which something gets faster. Uh, on the left, you see uh, you see a table. Okay, um, we've got force in one column, acceleration in the other. The force, remember again, is ex is caused by the weight. Um, uh, if you if I play the video a little bit, you'll see uh, down here. there's a pulley okay there's a pulley that pulley I'm going to suspend some weights from it yeah and the weight is going to be what's causing the force to uh, cause the red car to accelerate down the track through the light gate and we can measure that um, weight then is going to be given by the mass of the slotted masses that are going to be hanging from the end of this string on this pulley uh, we get we get the weight from mass times gravitational field strength that hanger there has got a mass of um, 10 grams, which correlates to a weight of 0.1 newtons. So in the first column, I'm going to res record the acceleration. Okay, this is me just setting up the uh, setting up the light gates. There we go. So it accelerates through the light gates. One Newton, we can see from the screen. We get 0.18 meters per second squared of acceleration. So every second, the car is going to get faster by 0.18 meters per second. Now I take now notice something here that I, I took I took that slotted mass off the top of the car, and I've put it on the end of the I've put it on the on the end of the uh, on the end of the string. So this investigation is very important that we keep the mass constant. And the mass is, uh, is that's being accelerated. Yeah. So I'm not adding any mass to the system. The car's being accelerated, but also that's that hanger at the end is also being accelerated. So I've got to take I've got to take the masses off the car and put them onto the hanger to, in order to keep the mass of the entire system constant. There we go, I've taken my second reading. All right, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the rest of the investigation. I think it's pretty straightforward from here. All I'm doing is taking masses from the top of the car and adding them to the hangar. Okay, in the second part of this investigation, uh, we are going to be changing the mass of the car whilst keeping the force on the car exactly the same. And we're going to be, we're going to be seeing how the mass of the car is going to affect the acceleration. Um, so you can see the table on the left again. This time we've got mass. Uh, that's what we're going to change. That's our independent variable this time. Uh, and that's mass of the red car that is being accelerated. So I'm going to play the video. first thing to do then is to measure the mass of everything that's being accelerated, which is what I'm doing here. So I put the car, which is being accelerated, I put the slotted masses down, also being accelerated, um, and I, I put the string on just for completeness. I can see that it's, it's just, just under half a kilogram in total. Um, you see on top of the car you saw some slotted masses, again those are the same slotted masses we were using last time. Uh, each one of those slotted masses has a has a mass of 10 grams, okay, which is very small compared to the mass of the car. So actually, when we change the mass, when, when we remove those masses from the top of the car, we don't really expect to see a massive change in acceleration because the masses are so small. So I've just put some blue tack on the track to stop it accelerating down the track, and we can now. Right, OK, 
go ahead and take that blue tack away, let it accelerate down the track, take a reading. Okay. Okay, I'm taking a slotted mass off the car. Like I said before, these slotted masses have a mass of 10 grams, so they only reduce the mass of the car by 10 grams. Yeah, so it goes down to 0.435. And again, I let it accelerate down the track. Put the new acceleration in, and you can see it's barely changed. It's barely changed, okay? Um, that's because those slotted masses are very small compared to the mass of the car. So it's not changed by much. It's, it's, it's only gone up by 0.01. So the acceleration's gone up here, okay? As you'd expect, lighter things are easier to accelerate. Yeah, so as it gets lighter, as we remove masses, it becomes easier to accelerate. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the, uh, the rest of the investigation. Um, see you in the next video.